In the last session, we focused on theory, how to incorporate the theory in the introduction and literature review. Once you have done this, the next step is use the theory to support your findings. Now, once you have done your results and you have done your SCM or whatever software you have used, use it to explain how these variables are or how the relationships are supported by the theory. So here is my discussion. Here it is. Let's go down slowly. Now these are the results. Here it is. Look at this. The study found a significant impact of knowledge management processes on project success. Now results validated this hypothesis and are consistent with the findings of previous research. Now this is the previous research. The results demonstrate that the project based organizations that utilize now it is not enough one of the common mistakes in discussion is that you simply write in that, okay, yes, this is, or these are the studies that are supporting my relationship or contradicting my relationship. Now, this is not enough. You have to explain why the results demonstrate that project based organizations that utilize knowledge management architecture can significantly improve the chances of making a successful project. So you have to explain why and how these relationships are significant or maybe insignificant for that matter. And this validates the KBV that we used earlier and that proposes that effective management of knowledge resources can facilitate organizations. Now, since we got a significant relationship between KMPs and project success, knowledge based views says the same that if you are managing your knowledge resources effectively, this leads to improved organizational performance or a successful project. And yes, this validates KBV. This is achieved since knowledge management can facilitate communication and provide. Why do you think that KMPs lead to improve project success? This is the answer to your why. This is achieved since knowledge management can facilitate communications and provide more informed knowledge more informed knowledge to whom project manager and to the project team and this actually leads to improved project success so this is how you can incorporate theory in your discussion as well moving on identify the theoretical implications so you have to mention the theory in the theoretical implications as well how do you do this now there is one thing that i would like to share with you now once you've got your papers in mendeley just search in theoretical implications. Now, these are the papers that have mentioned theoretical implications. Open one of them and then search in theory as to where is the theory and just go to theoretical implications. Now, here it is. So, how does this theory help in theoretical implications or what are the theoretical implications based on the theory? Now, Look at this. The research enriches the loyalty literature, especially by integrating complexity theory. So through integration of complexity theory, you are enriching the loyal loyalty literature. Now the loyalty literature may have not been discussed in light of complexity theory. That's the contribution. There is so much on loyalty, but not in light of complexity theory. So this is the contribution. Moving on, let's look at the other one. Or let's see if we've got something down there. Now, furthermore, it is established that there is significantly limited research based on complexity theory on customer loyalty. So what you are doing is you are contributing to this limited research. This is or these are your theoretical implications. Let's look at another example. The research has significant implications. This study is novel in the sense that it fills the highlighted gaps that we've discussed in the introduction with the swift collaboration of KBV and Drucker theory, explaining the enabling role of KOL in improving KM processes, contribution to higher education institutions performance through mediation of KWP. Now this is your theoretical implication. This is how you write your theoretical implication. 
whereby what you are doing is you are identifying the theory and how it contributes to the relationship between the variables. This is how you write about it in the implication sections. So now that we have looked into the two examples for theoretical implications, let's quickly go and do a recap. So these are the steps that one should undertake in incorporating theory in a paper. The first one, briefly describe the theory in the introduction, identify the contribution towards the theory in the contribution section, describe the theory to explain the relationship in the literature review, use the theory to support the findings that is your discussion section. And these are your theoretical implications that we just reviewed. I hope this session would have helped you understand the steps in incorporating theory in a paper. Thank you very much.